welcome to the course of fundamentals of iot in short fiot in today's class we are going to learn how to install and set up raspberry pi os into a raspberry pi board okay so for this we are using a lan cable or an ethernet cable to interface our laptop as well as raspberry pi and coming to the software part we need majorly three softwares one is the putty software next one is the raspberry pi imager and the third one is the vnc viewer or the server okay now let's see what are the hardware setup we require as for the hardware is concerned we need to have a couple of things so the first one is the laptop as we cannot carry the monitor everywhere laptop is the best option to connect the raspberry pi and use it as a pc okay so along with the laptop we require an ethernet cable we can also call it as a lan cable so this is a wired type of connection we are going to interface our laptop and raspberry pi using this lan cable okay and the second one what we need is then a uh, data cable with or without the adapter if at all you have an adapter you can directly power the raspberry pi if you don't have an adapter you can just use an data cable as well okay so the other end of the usb data cable goes into the laptop in order to power the raspberry pi okay so the next comes the our main part which is nothing but our raspberry pi okay next comes the card reader okay so we need a memory card reader in order to install the os raspberry pi os into the raspberry pi okay next comes the memory card here i am choosing an 8 gb memory card okay so using this memory card i am going to install uh, raspberry pi os into the raspberry pi first of all we need to select the raspberry pi image so click on that see this is how where raspberry pi image uh, looks we need to insert a memory card using a memory card reader into the laptop so let me insert the memory card into the memory card reader now once we insert the memory card reader into the laptop we need to choose the os operating system click on choose os and select the first option raspberry pi os 32 bit a port of debian bullseye with the raspberry pi desktop which is recommended okay most of the time we need to select this one only you have several options if you need any other kind of raspberry pi os type and any other option you need to go for it other otherwise as a default you can select this one raspberry pi os 32 bit select that okay next you need to choose the storage as soon as you insert the memory card reader with our memory card it will directly show the mass storage device usb as i have inserted 8 gb memory card it is showing like around 7.7 gb memory card select that okay i have selected that and before writing the os into the uh, memory card we need to select uh, make few settings okay go to the settings so in the settings you need to select the host name okay so check this box click host name okay and there is a default host name raspberry pi dot local and this is the first option what you need to see and you need to keep it in mind next option is enable ssh so always enable ssh is very much important in order to combine this raspberry pi os along with the vnc server okay so for this we need to set one username as well as password okay so in enable ssh you need to select use password authentication okay so for the password authentication we need to set a username as well as password okay so under username i'm giving ravi and under password i'm mentioning it as teja okay so this is the username and password i have set remaining all options can be negligible if at all we are uh, using a wireless communication or a wi-fi without the lan cable we can go for all these options otherwise as for now it can be negligible okay so click on save once you set the username and password click on save okay now once the settings has been saved just click on write see click on write so all existing data on mass storage device usb device will be erased are you sure you want to continue okay just uh, blindly click on 
S. So once you clicked on S, all the Raspberry Pi OS starts writing into the memory card, which we have connected to the laptop using memory card reader. Okay. So this writing the OS into the particular memory card will take a couple of minutes. Let's wait for that. Once the writing of an OS into the memory card has been completed, you will get a message like this. So Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit has been returned to mass storage device. Okay, you can now remove the SD card from the reader. Okay, just click on continue and you can close this particular window. Now, once we close the Raspberry Pi imager, once go to the uh, once go to the drive and check, you can see it is looking like a removable disk. Okay, what I will do is I will just eject the uh, micro card reader okay i have ejected the memory card reader and i will once again insert into the laptop okay see you can see the drive is looking like boot with some memory size now you can open this boot as well okay so here what you need to do is you need to create one file right right click on it click on new and create one open one text file saying SSH. Okay. See, what we have created is a text document, but we should not create any kind of text document. You should not, you should just remove the dot txt extension. Okay. So in order to see, make that, what you need to do is you need to go to view. Okay. And you should view file name extensions okay you can see all the file name extensions over here right okay so where is our file here you can see the file over here as we have created a text file it is showing as ssh.txt what you need to do is now rename it rename it and remove dot txt just we need an ssh file empty file okay are you sure you want to change it? click on yes see okay now it's just a normal file it is not any kind of text file okay you need to create one ssh file okay this file helps in connecting our raspberry pi os to the vnc viewer or the vnc server through which you can um, see or view the whole complete operating system desktop okay after creating this particular file you can just close the window okay and you can safely eject the memory card reader. Okay, eject the memory card reader. Now safely remove the memory card from the memory card reader and insert it in the Raspberry Pi board. Okay, so at the back of the Raspberry Pi board, you can find the memory card holder or a slot. Okay, safely insert into that. Now take the LAN cable and connect one end of the LAN cable or the Ethernet cable to the laptop and uh, another end of the Ethernet cable should goes to the Raspberry Pi board. Okay, safely insert it. So you can find a Ethernet socket over there. After connecting the Ethernet cable to both the laptop and Raspberry Pi board, okay, power up the board using our data cable. You can directly use an adapter or you can directly connect to the laptop USB port and power up our Raspberry Pi board. So all the connections are made. Okay. Go to the software part and uh, double click on PuTTY. Open PuTTY software. So let me keep this aside. Okay. So in the PuTTY software, In the putty software you can find host name or ip address okay so you need to remember the host name host name what we have seen raspberry pi dot local at the time of uh, um, installing the os into that uh, memory card we have seen right okay in the settings email raspberry pi imager okay there all the host name username 
and the password you need to remember. Host name was Raspberry Pi dot local. Okay. Once you type this particular host name, see that the connection type is in SSH and click on open. Once you click on open, you will get a login uh, window like this. Okay. So type your login as Ravi and press enter. Okay. If it comes, ask the password, type Teja. These are the credentials which we have given in the at the time of Raspberry Pi major, right? Okay. So click on enter. See, we have a couple of lines. Okay. After that, it went into Ravi.raspberry Pi. Now, what we need to do is we need to link our VNC. VNC viewer or VNC client, okay, to this particular putty software, okay. So that what we need to do is we need to click on VNC server, type VNC server and press enter, okay. It's try to connect with the VNC server. See, login file, okay, and new desktop is Raspberry Pi. It's some IP, okay? So this IP we are going to use in the VNC in order to open our Raspberry Pi desktop, okay? So let's copy this, okay? I have copied it. Don't close it, just minimize it and open VNC server. So this is a VNC server, okay? Or a VNC viewer, okay? You can just paste that IP address over here, okay? And press enter. See, we have a window where VNC server identity child check failed. Okay, just click on continue. Okay, again, it will go for authentication window in that in the username, we already have Ravi and the password is Teja, right? Okay, and I have mentioned Teja and click on okay. See, it entered into, it completely entered into Raspberry Pi OS system. Again, it is asking for authentication. Teja. Okay. Click. Okay. See, this is the overall window of our Raspberry Pi operating system. You can see over here, there is a recycle bean waste basket. There is a Raspberry Pi start window. In that, you can see programming, internet, sound. Okay. Let me maximize it. Okay. Internet sound, graphics, accessories, run, everything is available over here, okay? So, you also have uh, full screen mode, okay? So, let me minimize that. We also have no scaling, okay? So many options are there. In, and we also have properties, Bluetooth, okay? All this volume control everything is there okay we also have a command prompt over here command prompt okay this is this is not the windows what i'm using right now this is the operating system of raspberry pi whatever i'm using right now okay so in order to use in in spite of using a monitor i'm directly using an uh, my laptop as a booting system where i'm able to see the operating system of the Raspberry Pi over this particular VNC viewer. Okay. You can also see the file explorer, explorer. Okay. See desktop document, same as a normal Windows system. You can see everything. Okay. So this is how you can set up and install the Raspberry Pi OS into an Raspberry Pi board. And you can easily view through a VNC viewer or a VNC server in the laptop itself using a LAN cable.